Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to this week's installment of Fabricator Series Segments where every single week I upload one more chapter, sometimes two, of how to build a two chassis front end which is demonstrated on this S13. So, if you are not subscribed already to the Fabricator Series YouTube channel, absolutely go down right now and push that button so you don't miss the next week's uploads. If you're not familiar with the Fabricator Series, head over right now or after this video to the Fabricator Series uh, dot com and, and there you'll find the build blogs on how to build a two chassis front end where each week there will be another episode posted and in there you can get onto the discussion of everything, ask questions, talk about it amongst everybody else and all kinds of other good stuff. There's also a lot of great stuff for you to learn while you're over there. You can also check up on facebook.com slash the fabricator series. There's always another upload, another update, something else going on and I'm also a big fan of Instagram so head over to Instagram at the dot fabricator. Check all the information below here, and I'll have all of that there. If you need to get a hold of me, send a message, drop a comment, drop me an email, do whatever you got to do, and I'll always try to get back to you. So without any further delay, here's this week's episode of How to Build a Tube Chassis Front End. Picking a random point in space and saying, yeah, I think I'll start working from there can actually be kind of intimidating and uh, you know, somewhat difficult. So to simplify things, let's work on what we do and don't know. We do know absolutely there needs to be a primary tube going from the strut tower down to the main chassis rail. We subtracted all of that sheet metal, so one has to go in there. Now we don't know exactly what the, you know, the dimensions and everything are, and we're going to work on that with what we do know, which is the design that I want to kind of run with here. Now let's just venture off onto there for a moment. There are a dozen designs that you can run with if you were gonna copy somebody else's work. Now I never ever encourage copying anybody else's work. That is their own creative style and you must come up with yours just the same as they did with theirs. So, you know, do a quick search, kind of come up with an idea of what you need to know or what you need to, uh, you know, kind of incorporate in your design. Um, with this one particularly, um, I do wanna utilize all of this space. I like a very aggressive kind of style to it. So I'm not going to be running the, the rim style. It looks like a kind of like a front end hoop or whatever the case is. It looks like a giant U. Uh, personally, I think it kind of turns the look into like a basket rather than an than a aggressive stance. I want to go for that, kind of incorporate this wedge design here and this you know, low front end aggressive shooting stance here. And I'm going to utilize all of this space that the front end allows here. I mean, there's tons of it. So you'll see that there's a really clever design I have to work with. But these two uh, primary front tubes are gonna have to you know, shoot from basically from the tower down to the chassis rail. Now, I do know that he was talking, the owner was talking about adding tubs. Might get to doing those here, uh, but I don't know exactly when he's gonna do those. But if it's a theoretical possibility that the tubs are gonna be in here, I do know that I do not want a, a tube to stretch diagonally all the way across here because that could completely interfere with all of the radius of the wheels and the turning radius and everything like that. So I do know that I want to keep the front primary tube as far away as possible from the wheels to, to allow the incorporation of uh, tubs. So let's work on that real quick. So since I do know that I want my main rail to come down and mount to this area down here, I know that I have to plate this section here. So we're actually going to have to start with banging this little tab down here and then uh, we'll add the plate, which I'm going to go in between the seams here. I have about a four and a half inch plate, could be about three, three inches wide or so and we're going to smack that tab down, take the paint off of here and then we'll weld the plate on. This front section here also requires plating. So. Let's start with like a six inch plate, taper down at two inches to, to the standard three, about six inches long. So we'll work on that one. These are just gonna have to be cut out by hand, nothing really fancy. So we do need to take all the, all the uh, paint and seam sealer off of here so we can get a solid tack down on it after we cut the plate. So now we know exactly what we're gonna start working with here. Let's get the plates cut. Let's get the paint 
prepped and ready and get these plates tacked on here and then we can start bending the tubes up. reinforce it before we uh, put a centralized load or an or a, or a area where the tube is going to be is a, is a very uh, centralized location. It's a very specific point. So we just spread that, that load out as much as possible and we do that with plate. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this transition here. Kind of get the design I want to go with here. And let's see. Uh, Round this over. I give a nice little style to it here. So I'm going to go cut this design out, and then I'm going to take the paint off and the seam sealer off of here, and we'll get that one tacked on. Kind of a neat little trick here. Since both sides of the chassis are symmetrical, might as well make both plates symmetrical. So I stuck two of them together with a set of vice grips and uh, I'm gonna cut them both at the same time just to save a little, save a little time, make life a little easier. So I'll just let those cool down for a minute. Start by getting all of this off. So I did slightly modify my plate design here. I uh, took a moment to figure out where I wanted my tube to actually be placed versus the radius of this here. And uh, I decided that uh, I needed to cut down a little bit off of here because I, I don't need to send the plate way into that corner there. So I'm just gonna line this up kind of with the top here. Drop a couple tacks on it. Solid plate. 